Hello, I'm FDX Cat, and welcome back to another secret feature video. These are videos I like to make on my channel every single time an update comes out for Minecraft on the console to let you know about features that were included in the update but that weren't included on the official changelog. The reason these are so-called secret features is because the only way you can find out about them is to either stumble across them randomly in the game yourself or to watch one of these videos. And all of the features today, uh, you know, usually there's a lot of secret features that are really useful in some way. I'll be honest, most of the secret features here are the ones that make you scratch your head or make you go, that must have been an accident or just something like that. But I want to share them with you regardless because they're pretty interesting to me at least and I wanted to share five more secret features with all of you so hopefully you do all enjoy this video going over five more secret features you can like it if you do like it because it helps out the channel and let's know you do like these secret feature videos and I uh, want to keep seeing them every single time an update comes out again in this particular case though we're gonna go through some weird ones like the very first one here which is uh, something that I almost you know I spotted but I was like oh that must have always been there they've never changed something like that without mentioning it but it's a very bizarre change they made to fireworks you might have spotted it already but basically if you look fireworks looks something like this now and you might think well what's the difference that's a firework right but if you look at the end of the firework it now has a yellow tip on the end why does it have a yellow tip i can't think of any good reason it looks a little bit like an arrow or something honestly like way more like an arrow than it does like a firework and uh, yeah the only real reason i can think behind this is like well maybe because they're going sideways we can see them in a different way that we can before but no it doesn't actually make any sense because you can see them from every angle even from back here there is definitely a yellow tip to the fireworks which didn't previously exist why does it exist now again no solid reason on why it's just one of these weird things it's like they secretly changed the firework model and we never realized it and yeah you can actually see that even if you go up in the sky it does still look like that so again i tested this i was like why would they change that what's the reason for it and the answer is no particularly great reason something something bedrock am i right but yeah that's just a bizarre change in this update fireworks now look like that and you can use this in bizarre ways like you know what? this means that now fireworks look more like arrows so you can use them to threaten people more like fire arrows at people again i've always thought that arrows are, you know fireworks are technically an explosive device you can use in some way now they actually look the part two and maybe you find that useful speaking of uh, things that maybe you find useful this is something that's really big for marvel fans uh it's kind of eh if you're not into marvel but basically there's a big accident again i'm sure this is accidental because i checked the 360 it is not available there it's only available on the xbox one uh, again specific to the xbox one this one is uh, but basically if you go to your change skin menu just over here you'll see that there are some new skin packs or they're new if you haven't been playing minecraft for the past like three years but basically years ago now uh minecraft and marvel or minecraft uh, 4J and Marvel, I should say, actually did a brand deal together where they released three Marvel skin packs. They released the Marvel Avengers, they released Marvel Spider-Man, and they released Marvel Guardians of the Galaxies. These officially, uh, these were officially licensed, and you know Marvel got some uh, percentage of the profits. It was a really good deal they had going on, but it was time limited. We didn't know this at the time, but one day they just removed them from the store, and this was because they weren't allowed to sell them anymore. However, in this latest update, they brought back the skin pack, but only to the Xbox One and only the trial version. You might say, how do you know only the trial? Well, if you go to buy the uh, pack, so if I go to another one for instance uh, if you want to buy minigame heroes you can see how we can buy that it brings me to the store and it lets me do that if I really want to however if we try to buy the uh, Marvel skin packs again if we go back down there there is no way to do so because there's no store infrastructure the pack does not exist in its full, full, uh, in its entirety so this means that essentially you can't get any of these skins you can't buy them right now unless you own them before but you can try out the trials so if you want to be spider-man big time Guess what? I'm Spider-Man big time. I mean, I'm again, I'm not Spider-Man guy personally. Or, I, I mean, I, I like Spider-Man, but I, I've never seen like 89% of the Spider-Mans here. But if you want to be, uh, you know, there's a few more characters. Every skin pack has two or three, I think. But basically, you can now be a bunch of free characters from the Marvel skin packs, which is something uh, that you couldn't do before. So again, um, one of the better skin packs, in my opinion, that they went missing was in the Avengers one. They had uh, they have this over here. They had Scorpio for a while uh, somewhere in here. They have a few pretty interesting skin pack uh, uh, skins that you could pay for. You can't anymore. You can see what they look like, you know, a little bit of a glimpse into the past while it exists, and you also get a glimpse into more skin uh, skins like Falcon, never heard of him, but guess what, I'm Falcon, I have a cape now, isn't that wonderful? So yeah, you can be a superhero uh, that you're not meant to be, there is some serious licensing issues with this, and I'm almost certain they'll remove it later, because again, if this was a real update, they'd announce it in some way, they wouldn't just throw the trials in there, so yeah, make the most of these skins while they last. What I've actually done is I've thrown them on my favourites, so I'll see if they vanish from there or not, or if I can keep forever these free skins. I'm not sure how that work, but I'm hoping that maybe I can just keep these forever. And maybe you should do the same if you want to get some exclusive skins that other people can't.
can't have access to. Again, it's a tiny little fun fact, uh, or at least a cool fact in my opinion, that you can now do. So, moving on from that, we'll talk about the next uh, little secret feature in this update. And again, this is one I was sure was a bug because it breaks a lot of redstone, but uh, I read into the, uh, there's an official, it's called uh, the Gyra, I think it is. There's a place where you can go to report Minecraft console bugs, and that's where most people go to do it. Uh, again, you can follow uh, Forge Studios. It's like bugs.moyang.com slash project slash MCC. It's a confusing URL, but there is a place where you can go to report bugs. And on this uh, reported bug place, one of the big bugs, and one of the bugs I've noticed, but I checked on there, is uh, the cauldrons not being pushed by pistons anymore. If you look right here, you cannot push cauldrons or pistons. And there's actually a bunch of people who have noticed this too, and have put it on their changelog, and they have not responded officially to any of them. Usually they say, this will be fixed in the next update, or they'll say, this is, you know, intentional behavior. But in this, in this case, they've said nothing. And they've responded to every other request except this one. So I assume they're deciding internally as to whether this is intentional or whether it's not. Uh, again, maybe you should let them know that, you know, you, you, your redstone builds are affected. But essentially, right now, we don't know if this is a secret feature or a bug, but it seems like it's neither technically, uh, but yet both at the same time, because that's how things work. So, yeah, secret feature. They broke cauldron pistons, which I know breaks a lot of redstone builds. In fact, I think I have a redstone build. Let's, let's fly over to it for a second. So let's just fly over there now. Okay, wait, let's do this. There we go. So, uh, yeah, it's play I think one of my redstone builds, it might be the, um, you know, the elevator. Uh, most redstone builds use something in some way. So, yeah, that that now is broken just over here. Yeah, I think just down here, you can see. Oh, gosh, that was not what I wanted to do. Um, but just over here, I think you can actually see it in the base. There is cauldrons, which are used to make this thing work. And now that means my redstone elevators will not work correctly. Or at least that's that's my theory. Let's, let's go check it out. Anything that uses cauldrons... So yeah, as you can see, doesn't work at all because the cauldrons don't activate, do their magic, which means a lot of redstone builds are broken, like this one right here. Moving on to the next secret feature. So if you check the change log, they mentioned how dead trees uh, existed, right? And they mentioned how, uh, there's another type of tree. I'll, I'll check it right now. They, they, were, they mentioned how dead trees existed and they mentioned how uh, fallen trees existed or dying trees. They're not dead yet, but they're mostly dead. Um, but they, they said they were world generation options. However, a thing, again, you would not know about if you just read the change log, you'd assume, oh, you can find those in the wild. But if you actually grow trees yourself, just like this, you can can find, uh, not only can you find uh, the dead trees and the fallen trees, so um, again, eventually, oh, sorry, not, you can't, you can't grow a a, a fallen tree, but you can grow a dying tree, you know, just the uh, the wood part of it. Uh, but also, as well as that, you can grow trees with, like the other secret feature, which have vines on them as well. So that means you can now find vines, even if you just somehow have one oak sapling and you want to make things happen that way. If you grow the tree like this, and you, it, whether you grow it with bone mill or whether you grow it naturally, uh, so we'll just, we'll just place a bunch along here, because again, again, I'm hoping we find one. I thought a stack of bone mill would be enough, but essentially, you can find trees with the vines on them. Uh, and you can also find dead trees or dying trees. Uh, they're, they're very hard to find because they're small uh, percent chances, but I found one on like my fifth go when I uh, last tried it. So essentially, now when you grow a tree in Minecraft, you can now have the chance to find vines, which is great for people who do these kind of like, again, if you do have a survival island or skyblock or something, uh, then you'll really appreciate the fact that, um, you know, now... Okay, so I guess we have to go into creative very quickly. I want to show you that this does in fact work, because again, I think it's important that it's just not a thing I say, because so many of the things that people report as secret features, or like, as this or that, they're just kind of made up things. Like, I saw someone who was like, oh yeah, well the carpet, if you, you can actually dye things using carpet now, and it's like, wait, is that true? No, it's not. I, I see a lot of people even repeat uh, some of the secret features, but there we go. As you can see, it's a tree with vines on it that spawn naturally, and if we go for long enough, again, it's it's a, it's a low percent chance, it's something like 5% chance, we'll eventually find a dying tree too, which is kind of cool if you ask me. I, again, I think the dying tree is the most convenient to chop down, and I think the tree of vines on is a good opportunity to get vines even if you don't have a jungle or a swamp nearby. So let's move on to the final secret feature, and again, this is one that I don't see the use for, and I don't entirely know why they did it, but they adjusted the temperature of certain biomes in Minecraft. So why is that a big deal? And the answer is it's probably not because we're talking about heights well outside the usable Minecraft world. So if you don't know, the Minecraft world where you can place blocks stops at 256. I think this stack goes all the way up there. No, this one goes uh, up to like 200 something, but Oh no, this is, this is basically that. But yeah, as you can see, it only goes up to 256. After this point, you can't place blocks. You should be aware of that, but just in case you're not, and you want to see it, here you can see, there is a limit where it says that is the height limit. You can't do this anymore. Or at least it does on the, uh, the other versions. I think on this version, it just like stops you placing. Uh, but yeah, as you can, so as you can see, can't place blocks anymore. That's the edge of the world at 256. That's the very last block you can place. Once you go above it, weird things happen, but you can go even far, uh, higher than this in creative or in survival, um, by just using fireworks or by flying if you're in creative. And this means you can get way higher than 300. So yeah, one of the changes they made that I didn't believe was a change, but they have made, is that now in every single biome, because uh, this is something that always existed, uh, at some point in height in a biome, uh, your rain will turn into snow. This 
this is something that in uh, snow biomes exists very high above the ground, but essentially, uh, you know, certain height changes the temperature, but this now affects even super flat worlds or even plains biomes because well, pretty much every biome besides the desert and the savanna will have some point where that rain turns into snow. Again, bear in mind, even if you went to the very uh, height limit of 512 before, it wouldn't do it. Now at 460, it looks like, 462, uh, your rain turns into snow. So that means the temperature has been adjusted by about 10% downwards, which means every biome got a little bit colder. So you'll notice, you know, in the form of this, it's like probably not useful. I mean, unless you're like up here a lot while it's raining, then you'll notice it's snowy. It's harder to see in this like inv invisible top of the world. But the, uh, the interesting thing about this to me is the fact that this then affects every other temperature of every other biome just a little bit. So you'll find snow in places you didn't find them before. And uh, yeah, that's something I find fascinating. And maybe you do too. So thank you very much for watching today's video. Hope you all enjoyed these secret features that I do show off here. Again, these ones are all just weird. Like, I think that's a mistake. I think that's a mistake. I'm not sure if that's a mistake. That's either a mistake or maybe just a weird thing. Uh, but yeah, I, I think it's fun to go through these anyway because again, it's it's so cool to find out the things that are in an update that you just wouldn't otherwise find out about. And that's a part of what I, I love, you know, talking about on, on, on my channel. It's just like things that I was, fa uh, I, I, I guess fascinated is a word I use too much, but things that I was uh, rather interested by and really wanted to share because maybe you are too. And I hope that you are sometimes and that you find these things just as weird and kooky and strange as I did. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. Like if you liked it, share if you really liked it, subscribe if you're around here, and I'll see you all next time. Have a nice day and Christmas, I guess, and goodbye.